Okay. Did you? Yeah. Hello and welcome back to Falcon Blues TV. I'm joined with Super Lee Carsley, the man who put the ball in the well. Jim loves that one, by the way. <laughs> so with some quick fire questions, Lee. Yeah. You know, just yeah. gonna throw them at you. Yeah. Your favourite player growing up? Tommy Robinson. Tommy Gra- yeah, <laughs> growing up. Growing up. I'm sure you've got some uh, tail from that. Um, I'd, I'd probably say but, um, Brian Robson. Brian Robson. I love, I love the fact that he was like box to box, goal scoring, all round. Um, yeah, a lot of odds. Brian Robson, good player. Good answer. Biggest influence on your career? Ooh. Biggest influence on my career? Mom, maybe. Yeah, it's a good answer. Um, one, of the, one of the things that I, one of the things that I use with a lot of the young players now, who's the biggest influence on their career, will be themselves long term. You know, because having the discipline to overcome um, good form, bad form, good news, bad news. It's a you know, there's, there's a lot of uh, soul searching goes on when you're a footballer. Fantastic. No, really, on the nose question this, and it's very could be very controversial. Favorite crisps? Ooh, favorite crisps. Um, Quavers. Quaven, eh? No what? In Slim and Wales? No calories, apparently. <laughs> no, that, that's, that's true what we bought, anyway. No taste in that nice one. Best player you played alongside? Tommy G. Tommy Gravison. Yeah, top player. Great guy. Excellent midfielder. Underrated. Fun. Underrated midfielder. Fun guy as well. Fun, fun guy. Fun yeah. guy. Yeah. Hey, Pinko. Best player you've played against? Played against? Um, probably. Maybe Zidane. Wow. Oh, Ronaldo. Are we talking the first about this one? The first one. Are we talking about Zinedine Sidan or Zinedine Kilban? Both. <laughs> <laughs> Zinedine Kilban when he played for West Brom was very good. Yeah. Yeah, he's very good. I got, I, got, I got him his move. I got him his move to Everton. Really? Yeah. Yeah. We we played against Blackburn against West Brom and Kev cut inside and absolutely smashed him and got a yellow card. And two minutes later, <laughs> two minutes later he cut inside again. But I couldn't touch him. So he, he went past me and hit one straight to the top corner. Yeah, so I've always credit my career, his career to me. Jenna Dean, Phil Bannon himself. Yeah. Uh, your best goal? Best goal? Yeah. Um, probably the free kick against Newcastle was decent. I said that earlier on, yeah, didn't I? Yeah, that was a good goal. Maybe the, the last minute one against Birmingham as well. Yeah. yeah. That was a good strike. Obviously the one against Liverpool. The one against there. Liverpool was like... I, I didn't even see that last time. It worked on it. You know, we weren't a, a Graham Sharp derby goal, was it? Or Kevin Sheedy, it was like... <laughs> Winning, I suppose. Isn't it? So first time we beat them in a while. That's the first yeah. derby I'd seen live as well. Okay, there you go. Uh, 14, maybe, by any. Yeah, they're yeah. yeah. Ooh, this is a controversial one. <laughs> the worst play you played alongside. The worst play I played alongside? I'd say Pear Crown, if you want to give me a No, no, <laughs> Pear was alright. Just, just didn't have the look he, he needed. Um, oh, I played, against, played with a few bad ones, to be fair. <laughs> played with a few. Won't be any Everton ones, definitely no, not. No. Definitely not. Yeah. Uh, this is another one that's a really important one to me. Pineapple on a pizza, yay or nay? Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's interesting, because that, Kevin Campbell was fully against it. Well, super oh, Kevin. hang on then now. I'll say no then. <laughs> Kev, you don't want to mess with Kev. You get that. Uh, your favourite football memory? Favourite football memory? Um, getting my first professional contract at Derby. So going, going, getting on the train back home. So you literally, you, you played for two years, and at the end of the two years, you had to walk down to the baseball ground, down the long corridor to the manager's office, and they tell you whether you've got a contract or not. So there was lads waiting in the changing room that were crying because they'd been released, wow. and it was almost like, what do you do then? You don't so want to I, I, I had no sense. idea whether I was going to get a contract or not. And yeah, so it was um, making that phone call and say that I got a, a contract was a yeah, massive thing. Good stuff. Uh, final question. Who put the ball on the red checks net? <laughs> Fantastic, Oli. Thanks very much. Thank you. Cheers. Uh, keep watching, keep subscribing, click that big cartel button below, get some t shirts like this, uh, and up the toffees, Colin Chong.